the news today we got huge nintendo switch game leaks we got playstation 5 launch leaks oh and so much more intro What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know what the deal is. Give a thumbs up for your boy, man. You know I'm going to hit you with the flames. The video is about to be lit. Bro, the first one, we could have the first leak for a PlayStation 5 launch game. Specifically, Gran Turismo Siete! You didn't know it's bilingual. Siete! Gran Turismo 7 seems to have leaked on the internet. Before we get to the leak, let me just share my, and I say, I keep saying this every time I think of the Gran Turismo series. I grew up with Gran Turismo as the best racing series. My PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 loved the Gran Turismo games. The little challenges, corner, learning how to corner good, learning how to break at the right time, and then racing. But as of late, the PlayStation 3 was the last Gran Turismo game I bought. The PlayStation 4 one, they, they went with Drive Club instead. Drive Club really turned me off, bro. I asked for my money back. Sony gave me my money back for Drive Club, everything. It was an online debacle. Forza has taken Gran Turismo's lunch money when it comes to racing games. But if a Gran Turismo 7 is announced, I would give it a chance to see can Sony come back with the racing genre. They used to be the kings. Gran Turismo used to be the king of racing games <coughs> so Gran Turismo 7 rumored to be a PlayStation 5 launch game now this is multiple articles that I'm, I'm coming from um, and, and this is why I think it's happening um, this is coming from first one tweet tweettown.com never heard of this one, website it seems like an accidental leak from Australia based professional racing cockpit manufacturer next level racing which is an official PlayStation license, uh, made a rather big boo-boo, they're saying. The social post includes logos to Automobilista F1 2020 and Dirt 5. <coughs> but the third logo you can see is one for Gran Turismo 7. The social posts have since been removed of course, once the internet caught wind to it. But nothing is ever removed from the internet. All right. Now, GameStop did have an update. And they've said it turns out the logo was an internal mock-up for a potential Gran Turismo 7 logo from the company's graphic design department. We might... Uh, and so... GameStop is saying it was just an eternal mock-up, but why would this automobile company just randomly have a logo for Gran Turismo 7? They, it makes it seem like somebody has told somebody something, and right now they're trying to backtrack because they're stealing the thunder for um, so PlayStation's um, June event. So I'm still thinking something is happening with Gran Turismo 7. And the last article um, is from comic book Get Damon. Not the last article for this video, but on based on um, Gran Turismo 7. And they're saying that it looks like the Gran Turismo 7 is going to be launching alongside uh, the PlayStation 5 holiday come this holiday. And so 
Um, I'm in for a Gran Turismo game, man. And like I said, this used to be my favorite racing games until um, the Forza series came along. And so I want to see, want to see, I'm, I'm hyped to see what both companies really have to offer. July is really going to shape my trajectory for next gen. I said at the beginning of the last gen, when Xbox messed up, I was an Xbox 360. Love my Xbox 360. But then they started advertising TV and all this. I bought my PlayStation 4 at launch. I later came around to the Xbox once, once they started to get their act together. But again, I want to see what both companies have to offer. I'm more than likely going to be picking up both consoles at launch. But I want to see them games, bruh. Next news item. The Pikmin 3 Nintendo Switch leaks are now in Super Duper Overdrive. Here is the latest rumor for Pikmin coming to the Nintendo Switch. This is coming from Leaky Panda. Very, very reliable source. This is what he's tweeted. He just tweeted. Next Nintendo announcement is Pikmin probably this week soon regardless of when it happens he continues could be as soon as today have not been told much more so he's saying in the next couple days we're gonna get a pikmin 3 nintendo switch announcement i said this i just tweeted this out on twitter make sure you're following me on twitter if you want to get in the giveaway a $60 digital code for any console, Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation. You have to be following me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click subscribe right now. But, I said this on Twitter. I like what Nintendo is doing um, with these surprise announcements. Because there's been a rumor Nintendo has no plans currently for a Nintendo Direct. I would be fine if they never do an another Nintendo Direct. If they keep doing these surprise announcements more frequently during the year. Just imagine every month we can expect a surprise announcement from Nintendo. I like what they did with Paper Mario, the Origami King. It does a couple things. One, it's a surprise announcement. No one expects it. Two, no expectations. Nobody could grade. I can't I can't say the last Nintendo Direct was trash. <coughs> and everybody like, oh, be what? you're just hating no expectations we could just appreciate the surprise and so if they they might nintendo it looks like nintendo's gonna do what they did with paper mario origami king just boom out of nowhere pikmin 3 dropping now i say this all the time dope game love this game on my wii u but i beat it to death that's my dilemma i want to see what the new content will be for Pikmin 3. One thing I would be hyped for. Bro. One of the best features in the game. Was so hidden. This mode right here. Bingo battle. Was so dope. But it was only local. Um, local multiplayer. If they add bingo battle online multiplayer. That would get a flame. That would be fire bro. And so. Um, Pikmin 3 set to be announced any day within the next week according to leaky panda but and he, he tries to cover himself he said it could be as soon as today um probably this week that's what he's saying reliable reliable dude all right last two news items are still big but the last one is real big um ninjala ninjala the second beta test is may 31st like i said this game looks to have potential with me. One of the th first things I did notice is running at 60 frames per second when I was, um, I didn't even get to play the demo. I was in like a lobby waiting area. I could notice that the, it was 60 frames. And so that relieved some of my fears. But I didn't get to play the demo. I was trying, but I couldn't load into a match. That lets you know they still need to work on their online They did say with this beta test, though, it's going to be regional which will be less of a stress on their servers. Um, and so for North America will be May 31st. May 31st is the North American um, um, beta. So I want to try out this beta, man. 
Hopefully, 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 it's a good game. Y'all already know how I rolled with Splatoon. I am going to be doing the Splatfest tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Splatfest. We haven't had a Splatfest in a while, bro. And the last news item. This is huge. Valorant. Valorant could be coming to consoles. Could be. Now, for those of you that don't, I didn't even know about this game. Until there's one dude, one of my sponsors. Make sure you're a sponsor. Join a dope gaming community. Get in my private gaming Discord. I game almost every night with the sponsors. Valorant. Um, shout out to the homie Ace. Ace is always playing this game. And I didn't know about this game until he did. Uh, until he was telling me about it. It's a cross between sort of Call of Duty and Overwatch. And I guess it's, it's still in beta mode on the PC. But it's real popular. I didn't know about it, but it's a popular game. Jeff Keighley, he's been doing these summer game fest reveals, announcements. That's where we got the Tony Tony Hawk um, skating game revealed, remastered games. But today at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, he's, he tweeted out, tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's today, for an update. An announcement from the Play Valorant team, executive producer, and game director. So, there's going to be a Valorant announcement. Maybe that the game, if the game is just coming out of beta on PC, that's a lame announcement. But if they announce it for consoles, that would be lit. And this is a game that looks like it could even run on the Switch. I'm not, I've never been graphically impressed with this game. But every time I've seen it, I don't understand how it's so popular. Because the game doesn't look too impressive graphically. So, this game could come on the Switch too. A Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I might live stream this summer Game Fest at 11 on the channel. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.